Oh, it's nice. It's all thing I can as well. God damn it, set the ply there should be set to unlisted. Huh. I have never seen anyone do this before. Interesting. look better, doesn't it? Well, that's how I have to look at the launch on it. Using this bloody phone. Honestly. What a hack.
Bruges, moi, ça. Cables. You know, this is now public, so you don't need, there's a camera. Oh. Well, it's can't, it can't get you, it can't see you, but I'm just saying. Okay. I will slide the slider if I have to put my, uh, oh. I have to uh, move my camera. Thank you. Or I'll forget. Oh. <laughs> Who knows?
can never get this right. Why am I wearing a shirt? <laughs> because, who knows what the rules are? I don't know, maybe if I take my shirt off, I might get in trouble. I don't know. Just do it. Just do it. Well, as long as my nipples aren't showing, I need a piece of tape. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know what the YouTube rules are for um for having your shirt off in live streams. You're a man. Yeah, I know, but people like Twitch have a problem with it. That's because they're women. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. I don't know, maybe maybe next time. Maybe next time. Hello, hello. It's afternoon here. It's very, what time is it here? It is 2.22 p.m. Why did I stop? Because the, um, so I was, I was uh, making the website for someone but um, sort of without them knowing and uh, I spoke to someone else about it and they were like you probably don't want to be doing what you're doing so I uh, changed I decided not to do it I mean I can go and do it and um, I could go and continue it well you know what I will I will go and continue it I will go and continue it I'll uh, but, I, but I will have to change a bunch of stuff basically um, but I will, I will continue it. Uh, I've only just got a, I only just got a desk that I can fit my microphone on, and my internet is only just good enough that I can stream. So, but it's right. I'll do it. I think I was doing RSS. So I need to. I have a um, project coming up uh, using RSS anyway. So it's a good idea to catch up, I suppose. Oops. Handle upgrade. Uh, 
Oh, right, yeah. Well, to be fair, in um, on that one, because it's so simple, I would probably just use files. I mean, it's so easy to read and write from files in Lisp. Like, if you use uh, a Lisp data, data structure, you can just use read. Or read from string. Um, so I'd probably just store things in a file. Um, But, I tell you, um, Birkenau is pretty good. I actually have a commercial project um, that uses Birkenau in the back end in, uh, for persistence. Right. Now we're doing that, we don't actually need this multiple value bind anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a, um, Yeah, it is. It's like um, an object relational. No, 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 no. What is it? Uh, object persistence. So um, with Birkenar, you define your classes and you just use a macro called... Well, obviously you have the mop in Common Lisp. So you make your classes super classes, the, their meta class, the Birkenar persistent class, and then... You use a macro like um, with store or something. I don't remember what it's called. And it just literally persists everything. And you can go and you can change the... Uh, you can change the, uh, the definition of the class after the fact. As long as you don't make too many changes. And it'll update the entire database without... Um, it'll update the database without uh, deleting all the objects. I mean... Depending on how many change, like if you, it tends to break stuff if you snapshot immediately. But um, otherwise, it's all right. I can't say I got another commercial project at the moment, but uh, for that one, I opted to use like um, Postgres and uh, not use an ORM. No RM, no O R O R M. Everything is done manually. It's kind of a t takes a while to get it, the mapping going, but uh, once it's done, it's better because you have more control. Um. Now, what the hell was I doing? I just had multiple value bind. I don't need this. We don't need when finishing stashed. We don't do any of this anymore. We don't do this. We don't do this. We don't do this. Oh. Well, that's pretty. Oh. On condition. Handle frame. Hmm. I think I might. Change. Handle frame. What are you doing with that table? Well, I'm going to take that table back with Leo later. Because it is, as you said, a wonky, and I didn't notice. Is it wonky? Well, it's wonky now, but it's not fully open. Yeah, look, push that, push that down. Yeah, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Is it wonky? Oh, yeah, it's very wonky. Yeah, I'll take that back. Well, you see, Lisp, like, um, because of macros, you can 
and generic functions you can just hide a bunch of the a bunch of the difficulty um whereas i don't know not using an orm in like uh, python or something might just be a pain in the ass um, like with a nice macro i wrote a macro for updating slots and things which uh an orm would do for you but uh, I, am, I like uh, my macro allows me to perform the proper input and output uh, conversions. Like um, I have like multiple slots in my classes or subclasses, and um, the macro will go through and collect the data from the values from the slots, put them into JSON, and then uh, output that into a JSON B a set JSON B column. You can't really do any of that with an ORM. Um, so you have to then make a table for every subclass. Uh, it's just a pain in the ass. Just a pain in the ass. I don't want to do that. Welcome. Right. I don't remember what I'm doing. I think if I run this, it's all just going to break, to be honest. I also have no way of... No way of... Hello. Hello. What? Weird. Yeah, well, that might uh, cause a problem. Yeah, it's a uh, very lightweight. Um, I want to. I got something that I need to same project where I've got to do communication between the front end and the back end and um, there's just a few complaints about um, the state of web sockets and so I saw portal but it, is, it was, I wasn't very impressed when I looked at the code and then I thought uh, oh why didn't I spend some time uh, working on it and oh well, now it's just turned into working on it because I actually kind of like it uh, so hey it's one of those things WebSocket handler is undefined fantastic what have I what uh, I've cocked on it right up Like, uh, for example, Portal doesn't really... Portal, like, um, kind of supports fragmentation, as in it would fragment a message, but you couldn't use it for streaming. The uh, fragmentation just gets put... In, it would just get pushed into a stash. Like, every message is just stored, in, rather than uh, sent to a generic function or a callback or something. Meaning you have to wait for the whole message to complete, filling up all the memory the whole time, and then... Um, before you can process it. Whereas I am just getting rid of that. I'm just getting rid of that completely. Everything is going to be like each fragment at a time. Um, 
Because one of the, uh... Oh, I don't care about that. I don't need any of this anymore. One of the one of the issues with uh, Portal is it blows if you uh, just send it a very large quantity. Well, let's see if this actually works now. I've also completely changed the interface to use methods instead of. Um, why? Oh. Uh. Well, I don't have to do any of this stuff anymore. We don't do any of that anymore. Uh, one of the improvements on Portal was uh, allowing for multiple servers. I've done that too. And each server can listen on multiple paths as well, which is good. Um, and then you can dispatch on uh, you can dispatch on the path. I, like uh, paths always um, equal, which is cool. Um, like... Uh, ugh. Oh, whatever. Typing like that's a bit difficult. I use um no, I've never I haven't uh, haven't tried Clog yet. No, my uh I I mostly just write stuff for the back end. And then I use for that I've always used Ningle, which is Fukamachi, but um uh like um there is a joke about Fukamachi, it's Fukamachi where versus like um uh, Eddieware, I think it's called, which is like the hunch and toot, um, plexi streams, blah blah blah. So, if you've ever looked at the um, the code for any of the Fukamachi ware, like Ningle, it is so different to say how uh, Eddie, like Eddieware is written or how if you take a look at like um robert strand like beaches um beaches code uh which is how i write it's so different it actually becomes quite hot it's basically impossible to read so there's a joke about it. it's, it's kind of unmaintainable but it does work and i like ningle because if you want you can swap the server out for a uh, woo which is the uh one that he wrote using libev or something in the back end, so it's pretty fast. That's only if you need to. I mean, I've never actually done that. But hey, oops. Okay, that kind of worked. Let's see if it works. Crap. Read payload. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't need any of this stuff anymore. So, most of my stack is normally just like exactly what we've seen last. So, it'll be Ningle as a server, last for CSS, um, Spinneret for HTML, and occasionally Paren script. Uh, yeah, most of the time. I don't use Hunch and Toot directly, though. I use Ningle, but I pretty much always use Hunch and Toot as the server on the back end. I should actually make a video on, um, on, like, setting up... Say you have deployed your website, or you want to deploy your website. Um, I should really make a video on 
how you use Nginx, Nginx, because I don't think anyone, well, maybe they do, but it seems pretty common to stick your 102 server behind Nginx and let H Nginx handle uh, HTTPS. And then you use like Certbot, etc. So, uh, WebSockets. Server has a cap. Server cap. Stash cap. We're going to just change that to cap. I don't need any of this now. I just I need when cool. That should work. Ah, right. Yeah, we need the length of the. That isn't gonna work, is it? Yeah, no, we do plus cap length. No, what am I doing? If cap cap, this needs to be less than. Uh, We just need length to be less than cap. That's literally it. Or less than equal. So if it's 999. Cool. 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 if it works yeah um no it's uh the slot what oops uh no it's just for uh I can't really say too much, but it's just to let the user know what's happened. Something gets received by the back end, and we're just going to use it to uh, tell the front end something's changed. Um, but yeah, WebSockets seem pretty cool. I've never used them uh, other than faffing around with this library and reading the uh, spec over and over and over again. I've actually never used them, but they got like almost no overhead just TCP and just off um, it's pretty cool that's oh, broken it should yeah it should do that however that needs to be I need to catch that
just close close server web socket Hmm, it's not really what we want to do. Ah, whatever, we'll try. What? Handle frame, handle frame, reframe loop. Condition portal, length exceeded, something's gone wrong. What do I, what do I cock up? Reframe. Reframe loop, reframe. Ah, right. Oh, right, yeah. Um, no. You're trying to give me soup. Uh, hang on, what oh, soup? Oh, that's tasty. Oh, that's very tasty. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Uh. <laughs> what on earth? <coughs> oh, it's kind of. It's got a bit of spice to it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Say that again? Oh yeah, that just happened to me in death. Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> that would be painful. Oh no, 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 this is wrong. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, no, that's a question. I don't know. Probably, um, Shin Mirror. I mean, in public, like, um, on, like, uh, false stuff, probably Shin Mirror. Just for the sheer volume, but, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with him. Safe, safe answer, I guess, although it's not really, um. The one I pay most attention to, uh, the, I tell you, I go and read, I go and look at like the uh, commits in SBCL because the Stasat, um, I think it's him. He's hacking on SBCL constantly, and that's just like um, way over my head what they're up to. And Beach is building his own. Uh, well, SICL, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that because, because of the first class environments, and I have a lot of websites running on my BPS, and as epic as Lisp is, it's rather inconvenient to have um, many Lisp images running because they all use a lot of RAM. They're all large, right? So it is. It is not. Uh, well, first class environments solve that problem. Because you can hack on one Lisp image like it's multiple. Um. I need to actually uh, figure out why that ca didn't catch that when it should have caught that.
The only handler case is this here. So I am unsure why that didn't get uh, caught. Maybe I just need to. Yeah, I am, yeah. I don't know how you know that, but yeah, I am. <laughs> Complete frame red. Uh, I will, um, it will go on. I think I'm just gonna give it a new name. Because I've changed the interface, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to let Portal be and give it a new name, like yet another WebSockets library or something. I don't know. Um, it's not. I still got to go through the uh, spec again with a fine tooth comb and uh, make sure everything's working properly. Who knows? I might get bored. Hopefully not. I actually like this, but I might have to go do something else. Um, Complete frame red, handling frame, full web socket ready, condition, portal length, yeah, that's cool, but why is it, why is it saying that? Have I cocked something up? This condition was full web socket, yeah. Why is it saying, why is it not being caught here? Assuming DOS and killing stream. There's only one place that this is called read frame loop, yeah. Oh shit. That's not a continuation frame. Complete frame red, portal, binary, blah, 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 blah. Continuation frame. I have n I don't really understand. It's probably because I need to uh, stop this one. Uh, let's just give it a new name. Let's do a new one. Just do a new one. Confused. Broken now, yeah. Um, it shouldn't be breaking for one.
three payloaders. There is no... Reading length, reading mask, complete frame rate, binary, blah blah blah, length 101, handling frame, binary, yeah that's here. And we do handle frame. We gotta read the frame, read payload. Which does this. And we have read payload. Oops. Which signals this. Oh uh, yeah, I do, yeah. But mostly... Mostly, um... Mostly I, I do stuff on the back end, but yeah, there... I have... Uh, software... In production, yeah. Was that a bit hot? A bit spicy. Portal length exceeded. Oh my word. <sighs> Let's pretend that I didn't just make that silly mistake. But normal is just how it goes. Let's see if this actually just works on its own. Okay, it did. Sort of. Reading frame, reading length, complete frame, pull close. Oh yeah, it's my fault. What's that? Coconut milk, 100%. 100%. Kind of cool. <clears throat> kind of cool, it's 100%. Cl Literally no preservative at all. Right, it seems to be working. There's our binary received. Sending message of length 220. That doesn't seem right. Got. Oh, right, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, that does make sense. Um, it's because it's binary. Um, let's get rid of this. K -k 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 cool. Right now let's try and blast and see what happens if we go over the top. There are some what? Type check portal binary configure fragmentation. Alright. I don't know why it's making this complaint. No class binary. What? We don't need this anymore.
Oops. <clears throat> well, something's gone very wrong here. Let's see if we can unwind and fix that. Oops. I really like this bloke on a university I had to use things like C++ and Python but uh, I like to describe like C++ as like a bondage and discipline language but it's not fun there's nothing fun about um, like if something goes wrong oh great now we just uh, recompile run it and try again and you just sit there waiting around Whereas if something goes wrong in here, the worst thing you have to do is restart your list image. If something goes wrong, you just, like, I mean, it can be literally running. You just recompile it while it's running. And it'll just change. I don't know. I don't know. The biggest issue I have is um, that uh, it doesn't really play nice. Like, uh, list doesn't really play nice with other things. And if you... If someone wants to like use Docker or whatever, which you just, you basically have to tell them to get bent. It's like no, I don't. I'm not I'm just not. I'm just not going to do that because people don't. Because it's so rare to for image-based programming. It's so rare people don't expect you to be able to fix a problem without turning the program off. So they just don't really get it. Um, you have to show them, which is something that Beach talks about all the time. You have to show people. Uh, they just. Still don't get it. And too shy. Well, this might actually work now. Now I uh, fixed that problem. Um, yeah, cool, cool. Right, let's. Okay, what have I done? Oh, you twat. I have... Uh, ping invalid number of arguments for ping. Send pong, websocket message. Server frame. Send handle frame. Pong. Where is... Are you... Kidding me? What have I done? I've like, uh... Yeah. Pain. Pain. Um, what have I... I've really, like, cocked up some... Somehow I've, like, cocked right up here. Um... Handle frame Pong. Right, no payload. You don't have to send a ping. Okay. No, actually, I haven't cocked it up. It's fine. I just haven't uh, added the read payload, the new arguments to the payload. Although, now I've changed. Now I've changed this. I actually don't need all that stuff. I only need. Uh, wow, well, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Um, I'll just leave it. Let's try again. Auto OP is unbound, and then auto reserve non. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna. I need to go to the toilet. Oh, my laptop's getting low. Ugh. This is. 
Sam. Hey, Sam. Wow. Yanking up to the table. Is your camera on? No. It's just you're looking at the lives, but you can see it's in the top right. It's not on. Tastes a bit ricey. Uh, tastes like, tastes like um, tastes like I put rice in that cup. You know, I guess I did. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so the water tastes a little ricey. Do you want some tea? Uh. Or you did you? back. But what am I doing? Ah, there we go. Try not to overheat. Alright, what was I doing? I'm going to change my song I was to this. I don't know what the rules are for playing music either. I don't know if you can, or if you get like flagged or whatever on there. It's like having like a spot file or something playing in the background. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine because you're talking over it. That's true. If it's very quiet, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll look later. Now something's wrong. OP is unbound in the instance of reserved non control frame. Well, it shouldn't have sent a reserved non-control frame something op code six op code six what access length assuming dos and killing stream sending close frame web socket closing all oh, right yeah because i need to kill the stream not read a uh not read another frame. <clears throat> uh, that's why. Oops. We need an optional force. Close, send close frame. Uh, 
You know what? I don't even want to do that. I'm just gonna make a silly little mix in thing. Oh, actually, to be fair. We can send a closed frame, but we don't want to read anything afterwards, so I don't think, so, maybe I'm actually doing this wrong, I think I'm just doing this wrong. Whatever. On close path, yeah, change class, closing. So we we are actually also that I need to do to main to conform with this bit. Oh god, ages ago. This um I don't know, like I probably you know I mean I started probably when I was sixteen. So it's probably been like I don't know, ten years or something. This is the cool thing about, uh, it's one of the really cool things about Lisp is there really isn't like a, there isn't really like a ceiling. It doesn't, it's not Python, it doesn't say there's one way to do it. Uh, and so you can look at the way, uh, you can look at Eddieware, and then you can look at Fukamachiware, and you can go, wow, okay, these are two very distinct ways of writing code. So there really isn't a ceiling uh to how there isn't really well there isn't a skill ceiling for one and there isn't a um there isn't like a constraint on how you have to write code you just find how you like to write code you do it like that and i found that i like to write it using very heavily uh, relying on generic functions i'm a big big fan of generic functions and classes whereas if you go look at fukamachi where that's just not the case. Um, but uh, like Beach and Eddie, they're all big fans of uh, like Kloss and the Mop and. But it's each with uh, Lisp, it's like a highly individual language. There's um, really, really uh, depends on you, and I guess who you're working with too. You don't really want to go someone's using uh, some funny paradigm you might have a problem but uh, if you're just using it, writing your own code you can write how you want as long as it's readable as long as you follow like a uh, standard guidelines like uh, doc strings blah 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 then uh, hey yeah it's the same with uh, Python's the same way and it's good if you're uh, say I mean if you're if you're Megacorp 50, number Megacorp 50 to go with the other 5,000 Megacorps, and you need a replaceable cog number 7,321, oh, he said something wrong, so now we have to get rid of him, 
it's much easier to get replaceable cog 7321 replaced when your code base has to be written you know in one way to do it uh, Lisp is not like that Lisp is for small teams small teams of five people rather than big teams of 50 um, but it's very good very useful to get a lot of stuff done when you're one person you get a lot done as one person would lisp what am I doing? close server, we're supposed to handle this frame the problem is closing sets it to ready or closing but if we actually want to abort no we don't want to abort yeah for collaborating there's plenty of collaborative pro um, for like uh, projects going on but I think if you collaborate if you're going on to if you're joining like um, an already existing project you should probably you should write the code how they've been writing the code um, but if you're just like setting out with a mate or something you just choose you choose how you want to write the code and you agree to do it together or at least if you're gonna diverge say one of you wants to write code with callback start or something I don't know at least have it well documented if one of you is obsessed with using macros at least make sure it's well documented you know um, and it's understandable and you can look back at it in a, in a few weeks and understand what's going on um, because uh, uh, Lisp really is um, highly individualistic I think is uh, the way to put it um, close frame now it changes it to closing this is the problem we don't want to read any more frames after we close the frame we don't want to read a, uh, we don't want to, we need to change the class after we do this, okay. We don't want to change it to closing, we want to just change it to closed. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we do that, and then we will log in setting setting web socket to uh. Send close frame on close, but isn't actually closing. We want to send a close frame and then we actually want to force kill the uh, stream. How the hell, why the hell do I do that? Oh, I'll go rid of that. It's in here. See I'll close, there it is, frame portal condition, change close, closing on close. Right. Can I <laughs> will I write a book about it? No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm good. But what do you mean? Like uh writing making a video and collaborating. Mm. I suppose, but I'm not, I mean, I haven't really done much collaborative uh, Lisp. I mean, that's another one of the problems is because it's like uh, considered obscure or whatever. Not many people learn it, so they don't. Um, so you, you might struggle to find people to actually work with. Um, and if you're a little bit disagreeable like I am, then you find that so uh, you might uh, not get along too well with everyone. So, hey. Handle frame portal condition web socket. I could just use the handle frame. I could just make a. I could make a condition frame and handle frame it, or I could stop being silly, 
I can stop being silly. I can send the clothes. No, that'll double. They'll do it twice. I tell you, one one thing Lisp really does have going for it is the quality of the books. I mean, some of them are really old, but they're just, like, the uh, quality of the books is just outstanding. Alright, I need to sort this out. Like, um... This is, I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't right. This isn't right. This is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. I don't like this. Something about this isn't right. It doesn't feel right. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing it like this anymore. I don't know why I did that, but hey, I did. Make a video walking through the center of Bangkok talking about, uh, talking about collaborative lisp writing. <laughs> That'll be, uh, you know, <laughs> be a bit loud. Be a bit loud. Um, right, I got. Right, we're gonna write uh, condition. Condition. Handle condition. Path WebSocket server WebSocket C. We want to do the same stuff as handle frame, basically, but we don't have a frame instead we have a condition. So we're going to handle condition, condition, server, WebSocket. Cool. And then we're going to have our single method server. Get rid of that. <coughs> oh yeah, I need to do WebSockets. Now, I don't want any, so now I just, I don't want any of these handler cases. I don't want any of them. Just want it all wrapped up nicely in, uh, oops, oops. Sorry, I need to sort that out. Right, I don't want any of this crap. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye. Get rid of that. Put that there. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Change my mind. Probably better to have handle frame. Okay, I think I prefer that. I think I prefer that. And now. We don't have a handle condition, but mm -mm -mm.
So this big fan, I like, uh, really like writing uh, code with generics. Uh, what's the book? Um, uh, let me look it up. Object oriented programming. Is that what it's called? By, oh, I don't remember her name. There it is. By Keen, Sonia Keen. Object oriented programming components for programmers guide to CLOS. It's a very good book. Wah. Handle condition. Right, we're going to go with condition. C portal condition. Right, now we've got handle frame in here. I mean, is that really closing? If we force close the stream, that's not closing. That's closed. Um. Right, so we have excess length. So really, uh, in this case, we're just killing. It's also resignaling stream error. We don't want to resignal stream error in this case. We are not bothered. We basically, in this case, we want to actually send a close. Send a close frame web socket. Now, we need to add that. I need to rewrite. Um, he has this horrible thing that I really, really don't like. I saw like closure stuff with his arrows. He's using cons, and uh, I don't know. You could just, I could just use classes. I could just use a few classes and have templates and I don't know. I don't know. Missing code and reason, right? We're going to send the closed frame. Now, because the client probably doesn't know what's going on, 
the client is then going to what well, should respond with a close frame but we don't care we are just going to kill the server this is a force close defund force close web socket We don't want the on close. We're just going to let Why am I doing that? Do I want to do the on close? No. Why did I do that? It's probably like a macro to be made here. Um. Nah, we're not even going to bother with the change class. Close control frame may contain, yeah, I know it's a may, but, you know, we kind of want to do it. What, am I, what the hell am I doing? We just want to return T, basically. We just want to return T. It makes no difference. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. If something goes wrong, then I know, don't I? Define five five one seven four control may contain a status code. Yeah, but I agree. We but uh, we should. I think, in my opinion, we should. Uh, I should add it. Um, okay, we're gonna send the close frame in this case, and then we are going to force close, and then we're going to change it to closed, and we're gonna cool the on close. Uh, method. Right, let's see what happens. It should. Because these are two exceptional circumstances. We don't, um, Two exceptional circumstances. We don't care about reading any more frames. Handle a case. Oh, yeah. Oops. Right, let's, uh, oops. Let's go back here. Oh, actually, no. 
Look right here. Ah. Oh. We should put this, move this to here. Now we've got some funky going on here. Handler case, ring free, frame loop, server, but read frame loop. Let's just have it always just return the web socket. And then we don't want to have a stream error here because we're not catching it anymore. Just if it returns, if it returns, it should always re be closed. Oof, we'll see, won't we? See, look at this. Construct HTTP response, right? And this uses this A-list to header thing, but... I don't know. I mean, it's. I don't know. Oh, I should probably put this on full screen. Well, I guess we can try it. Right, here we go. Mage version, minor version, resource, echo, upgrade, website connection, upgrade, open, blah, 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 blah. I want to also add the, um, I want to extract the extensions uh, and list those out. All right, we're going to send 100 keys. All right, that's cool. Oh, I didn't add this bit, that's fine. Got one client, cool. And if we do 1001, read frame loop finished. Length exceeded. I should put logging in the handle condition. Oh no, it's not. I don't need to do that. It should be working just fine. It should just be able to reconnect. Yep. 
Handling condition, length exceeded, nice. Why does it say that? Handling condition, condition portal, length exceeded with signals. What have I done? I don't know what I've done. I have done something in here. Um, no, I don't know. Um, so now we have a default, our default condition handler is to just kill. By default, we using fallback condition handler killing stream. And then we can specialize for each different, uh, we can specialize for each different type of condition that gets signaled. Let's say, uh, well, we're not gonna bother, not yet. But if they say they send an unknown OP code, we can just add the reason, but uh, I don't have all those frames written down. I didn't write them all out. Um, you know what I should probably do? I should probably just add by the read frame loop finished. I should put that. Handle upgrade, there it is. Is it handle upgrade? Check can upgrade. Method reading length, reading frame. Oops. Pretty sure you can add multiple. There's a, you can put a number there. Right, maybe now that works. We don't need this, which need a new client. Method gets minor version. Writing length, I need to fix that quick. Yeah, whatever. That's part of the code that I haven't changed. Okay. Uh,
when the service ends uh, close, it should, it needs to wait to receive a close frame. So when we do a handle frame close, it should not do that. No, if it receives that. If it receives a close, it should shut. It should force close. <coughs> Force close the web socket. And now it's closed. This logic is not the same. Um, send close, frame, force close, change class to close, and then run on close. That's what we want to do when we receive a close. If we receive a close. We want to send the close frame. If we receive a close, we're then going to force close, change class to WebSocket closed, and run on class. Yeah. And if you send close, if you send close, so now. Gene, do you remember how much the curtain was? Hmm? Do you remember how much the curtain was? It was cheap one, it was like 80 on that, or one something. How much what was? That curtain. No, I don't. No, it wasn't a lot, it was like 80 or 160 or something. Yeah, send close frame. I need to check the spec. The server can just kill, but the server should send and wait for a close frame. But it should be marked as closing. And then if the other side closes, it will just stream error.
Gosh darn. That's a uh, uh, pain. I need to add fragmentation. Do we need to add fragmented messages? No. These are literally exactly the same.
Let me go like this. You want to go for Lotus? I do. Yeah, cool. I'll tell you. Are we going to get anything there? Food. Can you ask Leo to get my handkerchief? To get what? Your handkerchief? Where's yeah. that? I left it in the room upstairs. Oh. I don't have to clean up for a few minutes. I hope you can clean up. Leo, clean it. Are you still. Yep. Okay. Why does that. that can't, why is it telling me that's spelt wrong? When it spelt it for me? Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, and I'm much, much work towards. Cool. I re. Uh, oops. 